In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today the Church celebrates the feast of St. Bonaventure. He lived in the 13th century. He was known for beautiful spiritual writings, ascetical writings, and he also was known as the Seraphic Doctor. So as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us first pause and call to mind the times that we have sinned. Lord Jesus, we're sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We're seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop, St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the order of his charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, woe to Assyria, my rod in anger, my staff in wrath. Against an impious nation I send him, and against a people under my wrath I order him to cease plunder, carry off loot, and tread them down like the mud of the streets. But this is not what he intends, nor does he have this in his mind. Rather, it is in his heart to destroy, to make an end of nations, not a few. For he says, by my own power I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am shrewd. I have moved the boundaries of peoples their treasures I have pillaged, and like a giant I have put down the enthroned. My hand has seized like a nest the riches of nations. As one takes eggs left alone, so I took in all the earth. No one fluttered a wing, or opened a mouth, or chirped. Will the axe boast against him who use with it? Will the saw exalt itself above him who welds it? As if a rod could sway him who lifts it, or a staff him who is not wood. Therefore the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will send among his fat ones leanness, and instead of his great glory, there will be kindling, like the kindling of fire. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Our response, the Lord will not abandon his people. Your people, O Lord, they trample down. Your inheritance they afflict. Widow and stranger they slay, the fatherless they murder. And they say, the Lord sees not, the God of Jacob perceives not. Understand, you senseless ones among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? Shall he who shaped the ear not hear, or he who formed the eye not see? Shall he who instructs nations not chastise, he who teaches men knowledge? 
For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance. But judgment shall again be with justice, and all the upright of heart shall follow it. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Lord, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you've hidden these things, the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Friends, in today's Gospel, Jesus reveals the intimate relationship with his Father. No one knows the Father except the Son, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and he who he wishes to reveal him to. There is something absolutely remarkable and peculiar about Jesus. Like Abraham, Isaac, Moses, all the prophets, Jeremiah, Isaiah, and even King David, he is sent by God. So far, so ordinary. However, this sent one is, at the same time, God. For he speaks and acts consistently in the very person of God. Unless you love me. My son, your sins are forgiven. You've heard it said, but I say, heaven and earth shall pass away. There seems to be one who is, in one sense, other than the one who sent him. And in another sense, the same as the one who sent him. This one comes from the Father, not as a creature, but as an image and perfect reflection, the Logos, the Word of God, which the Father understands himself. As I always love to to talk about the Holy Trinity, God the Father loves the Son. And as if they're looking into each other's face and their breath is exchanged, the Father loving the Son, the Son returning that love to the Father, the breath is the Holy Spirit. So, as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries on this beautiful summer day, let us be thankful, let us always have gratitude for God who is love, three persons, God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one. Now let us gather our prayers together. Heavenly Father, we now lift up our prayers for ourselves, for our families, for our friends, and for our country, and for our world. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For missionaries of the gospel around the world, may God bless them and protect them in their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. 
For the whole world, may God's gracious mercy deliver his people from sin and death. Let us pray to the Lord. For those struggling with habitual sin, may the Holy Spirit strengthen them and help them to turn away from sin and toward God's mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in our community who are traveling or vacationing, may God grant them safety and a joyful time of rest. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, especially those known only to God, may Christ greet them at the gates of the heavenly Jerusalem. Let us pray to the Lord. For Geraldine Kearns, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for our own personal attentions in silence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Heavenly Father, we lift up these prayers for ourselves and for our world, and we ask that you answer them according to your divine will, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Mistress Water and Wine, and come share with the Christ. Father, let's help share our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we have to offer you fruit to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we have to offer you. Fruit to the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Wash away my iniquities, cleanse me of my sins. Pray now, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day of blessed Bonaventure, that bestowing on us your pardon our ob oblations may give honor to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as the festival of St. Bonaventure, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we praise you, Lord. We sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are 
indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer our side of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, have mercy. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, grant us peace. Behold the Behold him who comes into the world to save us from our sins. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy. worthy. You shall under my roof. But I only say the word of my soul Since we are unable to share in the physical reception of the Eucharist today, let us join in praying an act of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my, into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. The communion antiphon. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord finds awake when he comes and knocks at the gate. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed Bonaventure, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll now proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 